Do you wanna know how to build a very high converting sales page in ClickFunnels? Well, guess what? I'm getting ready to show you how to do that right now. Yo, what is up? Zachary Babcock here, former drug addict, spent over five years of my life in prison, turned underdog entrepreneur, and the Proven Run Prodigy, top 200 iTunes podcast host. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything if you want the best tips on lead generation and customer acquisition and how to turbocharge your business. With that being said, let's dive right into the meat and potatoes of this video. So I'm going to show you how to build a high converting sales page. I'm going to show you it's literally a step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you're a little bit overwhelmed with the techie stuff, no need to worry. I'm going to show you exactly step-by-step -step how to do it because I'm not a tech person myself. And I'm going to show you the key components on actually building a sales page that converts, you know, what, what needs to be in there, where, when, and what, why, and how. So with all that being said, let's head to the computer and let me show you how to do this. All right, so let's go over some key components here. You're going, to, you're going to want to put in your sales page. Now, you don't need every single one of these key components. Uh, I'll let you know if it's uh, optional, but some of these are absolutely needed, and I'll definitely let you know. So let's go over them very quickly here. So very first thing, um, I like to have a video that goes over the benefits of the program. Uh, so that's what I have right here, my growth engine implementation program for my core offer and my underdog academy program, um, which uh, they've already came to an appointment, sat down with me in a small group workshop, and I've added massive value to them, and if they're a good fit, then I'd send them to my sales page. Um, and it's going to be a brief overview and uh, of the program and uh, hitting on the main benefits. Then I'm actually going to put it out in text, a quick brief overview of the program and uh, going through the benefits again, a quick summary of benefits right here. And then uh, you want to go through the summary of your product, which is uh, right here. You just go through quickly. These are more, see, this is a summary of the benefits. Save hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars by avoiding trial and error. Avoid overwhelm and grueling difficulty of climbing all those learning curves by yourself. See, those are benefits, people, the benefit of actually going through the program. Then we're going to go through the summary of the product or service, which is the features. Clarify your ideal audience. You know, craft compelling offers. You know, these are the features versus the benefits is what you want to have there. And then you want to have in like your added, like, you know, here's your core mo modules. You want to have in like your added bonuses. If you're selling like a course or coaching program or whatnot, you might just be selling like a product or e-commerce, which, you know, you don't need to have like, you know, added bonuses, but it's always good to add bonuses in there. And then uh, if you're doing a program, you know, this isn't, this is optional. If you're, if you're selling like products or whatnot, you don't have to have how the program works, but you can have like how the product works or how the delivery system works or whatever um, so I show them how the program works in here you know all the uh, exactly how it works and then once again um, you know if you have like coaches or whatnot inside of your program you want to show them who their mentors are going to be or whatnot and then um, you know then you want to have the stack and the stack is very important so you state what the price is so right now we're going through a pilot program in here so this is what the normal price is going to be after the pilot is over all right, but right now pilot pricing, they get 50% off, which is uh, we do four fifteen a month in six installments, 6% six for 650 and three, or 70% off, which is one single payment of 15. So um, that's your stack. And then right, it's key to have this. You wanna show them like the value that they're getting because you already done went through the value and these added bonuses. You put you know a little bonus, 500. This is a the value add. You're showing them exactly how valuable it is. And then you're showing them how much of a, uh, uh, a great opportunity it is, how much of a great deal it is for them. And then you wanna have your button uh, for them to actually go onto the order form and actually purchase. And then after the button, um, you know, you want to add in some testimonials. We have tons of them here. Uh, that's always great when on a sales page. The testimonials always help when the people say, oh, man, there's other people that are getting results from this program. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, make that. It actually increases your chances. And then you also want to add in any uh, FAQs, frequently asked questions. Place those all in here. And then another button. And then you are good to go. And that's uh, the key components of a sales page. Now let's go ahead and actually build one out together. So... And click funnels. If you want to click add new funnel, or you can go under click funnels and click funnels or build funnel, and it'll do it for you as well. I always start with the cookbook. And once we get the cookbook, it is going to load up, and then um, uh, let's just say uh, we're going to pick our industry. I'm going to say author, speaker, coach, and then type of funnel, sell a product. Okay, 
So, you know, you could build a membership site, whatever. We're just going to do a video sales letter funnel because that's what I like to do. That's exactly what I just showed you. Uh, videos uh, tend to work better. In here, Russell Brunson breaks down how the funnel works. You can watch that. I always start every single funnel with a blank funnel, like starting from scratch. You can pick out a templated one if you want. Um, you click Get Funnel after it's going to uh, load it up. All right, now it's loaded up here. And before I even start building out the funnel, before I even start building out the sales page, I want to go to my funnel settings, which is right here, the top right. And I need to make sure that I had this all set up right. So first and foremost, I would name the funnel just so I can recognize it inside of all. Because if you have a lot of funnels, you'll, you can uh, get buried somewhere. And if you want to group tag it, you can put it in there. Like I have like stuff under um, Zachary Babcock so forth boom and then your domain you want to associate your domain with it with this one you know whatever one you want to associate with that product and then the path this is the the uh, main like if you want to send them to the top of the funnel this is it's going to be Zachary babcock.com forward slash we just put program you can name it whatever you want and then you set up your SMT SMTP configuration. This is your email, so how you can market back to them. Your favicon URL if you have a logo, which is this thing. Here, let me uh, drag this down. These up here, you know, like YouTube has their little logo, ClickFunnels has theirs, there's mine for mine. That's the favicon. So if you have a logo and a favicon already there, this is where you would do it. You just paste in that from ClickFunnels right in there. And then you will add in your tracking code, which is definitely you put in your Facebook pixel, your Google Analytics, whatever tracking codes, uh, however you're going to remarket to them, place that, just paste it in right there. And then finally, we make sure that uh, my uh, Stripe account is already associated with this. Now, if you don't have Stripe already set up, um, and you need to know how to set up a Stripe account, check out this video right here. That's going to show you how to set up a Stripe account. And then, boom, after you have all that, then we want to scroll down here, and we want to save the settings. Update and save. After it's saved, now we can actually go ahead and start building out the video sales letter sales page. So I like to start with a blank one, which I cannot find the blank one right now, so I'm just gonna find a real simple looking one and delete everything and build from scratch. All right, so now that we have that, first thing I wanna do is go into publishing. All right, I'm gonna set up, I can name the, if I want to, if I wanna rename it something, I can. Uh, the path for this funnel step, um, you know, I'm just gonna put test, testing one. All right, and that's good to go as far as the uh, as far as the um, the publishing goes so I'd update funnel step now it does that now before I go in there I'm gonna set up my products so now that I have stripe already set up I can add a product I'd click add product and then it's really simple depending on what you're selling uh, you name it so um, yeah I already had this pre populated so I'm just gonna use that uh, boot camp limited Black Friday discount that's the name of the product I have my integr billing integration, which is my Stripe account, which is already uh, locked in there. And then I'd set the price amount. So let's say it's a, a $197 product. Boom. And then you set the currency, whichever one you, you know fits you. Um, and then uh, price display on order form. I don't mess with that. Um, there's really, I, I have no need for that. Um, so I never really use that. I don't think that you really, uh, unless you want to show something different or set up like a, uh, um, like if you're set, if it's like a, a membership where they pay each month, you could do that, uh, as well. Um, and, and that's how you would set that up. But, uh, if you have a bump, so the bump is this product, the bump. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to show you what the bump is later, but I'm just showing you how to set up a basic, uh, sales funnel. This is a one-time, you know, uh, Stripe integration product description. This is what's going to actually show uh, up on their um, the uh, email, their receipt, or whatnot. And then the product quantity. I don't mess with it if it's just one product. You don't even have to mess with none of that. And before you go ahead and create this product, uh, I go to fulfillment email, and um, I set up my own email, so I don't want this part. It's like it's weird because they like kind of double it up here. This is what I would recommend. This works really well for me. Just delete that headline, come in here into the body, and delete 
that and then go back to settings and now we set it up and the reason why we do that now that 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 product is actually set up the reason why is we can go into automation and send them our own email that's like setting up a whole nother funnel set when you actually add it to the product which I do not like um, so now we go in here and uh, we got we picked out our template now we want to go to edit page we're gonna actually open it up once we're in here I'm gonna delete everything and start from scratch just to show you how I get down all right I think that's everything cool so add a new section boom um, and we're gonna um, make this a black background so we just click on the gear icon click on that background color and boom now we got that uh, now we gotta add a row so we can actually add elements inside of the row I always pick two columns for the top one and then I go into add my element I pick a little image boom click on the image add my logo to it boom and then also under these settings I can you know change I'm gonna put 200 pixel that change the size of the logo and then <clears throat> under advance <clears throat> excuse me go under a line <clears throat> excuse me and then uh, click left and that brings it over to the left and boom that looks good uh, so now I want to add a new section another full width and I'm gonna click right here to add a new row and for this I'm just gonna add um, uh, one column you can do whatever whatever fits you best and inside this column I'm gonna click add and I'm gonna put uh, a headline large call to action headline hey watch this video or whatever and it's gonna state the benefits or whatnot and then I'm gonna add a new element I'll put my little video sales letter in there boom that's gonna be in there if I want to set it up depending on what you use you can custom embed it uh, and then you just put the you know your whatever in there and then uh, you know you could select YouTube and just put the YouTube link in there and change the controls however whichever way works best for you and then after that um, then you know you, you want to um, add another element and we want to go over the, the benefits oops wrong thing there we'll do a summary of benefits and that's what we do there and we can you know play around with that and make it look however which way we wanted and then after we get the summary of benefits and you know you want to start going into like the product features now I'm not gonna make this look all super pretty and lay it all out like I did with the other page I'm just showing you exactly how easy it is to do it so you know we probably want to add a new section and then under the new section then we add another row and uh, in here inside this row we can you know make custom images and put them in there you know and then underneath the images do a quick little paragraph explaining that you know the features of the program and so on we would go through and you know you do that and you could do that on your own pretty easily I'm just showing you how easy it is and then um, you know then you want to add another section and add in you know if you got coaches you know the people who they're gonna be interacting with you put that in there and and so on and um, you know you just keep going through the whole process and that's how easy it is and then down here finally you want to get to the stack I want to put in the stack and um, you know I put in a one column and in the stack you could just simply use the headline and you know you can write it out you know a 197 I'm not gonna do all that but you know you just make it you know bullet out the stack a bullet bullet point out the stack and then um, you know copy that a bunch of different times uh, to uh, you know you could just clone it and then change it you know and showing like how you know all the different value of it like we did in the example over here just to show you what I'm talking about boom you would want to you know make that like this and um, you know then you would have your stack and then after you get your stack going then make sure you add your button so they can actually purchase and uh, this button would be you'd set the action make sure you set the action is submit order submit form and that's gonna make sure that it submits the order or it go it's gonna submit the form so it's gonna lead them to the next page which is the actual order form and that is how easily you could set up 
um, uh, sales page inside of ClickFunnels, and you also want to make sure it looks good. You want to add your testimonials and all that. Make sure it looks nice. I just wanted to hurry up and show you how easy it is to add use these features inside of ClickFunnels. All right, did you find that helpful? Were, were those tips, do you feel more confident building your sales page now after reviewing this video? If so, let me know in the comments. I'd love to get your feedback. Let me know about it, what was uh, a game changer for you. And if it sucked, if you thought that there's areas of improvement, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for areas to improve so that I can not make sucky videos so I can be serving you at the best of my ability. Uh, give me a thumbs up if it was great. Thumbs down if it sucked. All right, and um, if you want the best tips on how to turbocharge your business, your lead generation, your customer acquisition, then you're definitely going to want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything. I'm going to see you on the next video. In the meantime, here are some more videos that you can check out until then. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. Uh -oh. It's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. Yeah,